everybody. So this is going to be a video demonstrating on how to brush your dog's teeth. Um, it'll go through the process, you know, if you've never done it before, um, it's going to show you some tips and tricks to make it easier for you at home and then also for your pet. Um, so I have Virgil here and then Kayla is my lovely assistant today. Um, so we'll just kind of go through um, kind of the process. So if you've never brushed your dog's teeth before, I like to start out by having them get used to you being around their mouths. So, you know, it may take a while. I normally say about a week, week and a half or so. It's kind of a gradual process. Um, and so what I like to do for that is I'll start rubbing, you know, start rubbing around their face, just rubbing around their mouth, rubbing around their, you know, their jaw, underneath their chin. Um, just so they get used to you around their mouth and they're not flinching back um, or trying to pull away from you at that point. And so once, you know, once after that they get used to you around, um, then it's nice to move into either a really thin washcloth or what we have here are little, um, little gauze squares. And so what I like to do is either with the washcloth or the gauze square, I just open it in half and then just kind of wrap it around my finger. So it's really thin. Um, and then what you can do is you can just kind of, you don't really have to lift up their lips so much, um, but lift their head up a little bit. And then, you know, just very gently lift up their lip. Um, and then you're just gonna use it at a 45 degree angle and you're gonna rub back and forth along the molars, premolars, and the incisors in the front. Normally the molars are the hardest to get to because they're all the way in the back. And unfortunately, that's also the place where they build up the most tartar and plaque among their teeth. Um, so, you know, if it's easier for you guys at home to start, you know, with the front at first, you can do that and just rub back and forth so they get used to you. And then you can also do that and lift their lip and then right along their gum line in the back. <laughs> Once you have used the, you know, the gauze or the washcloth, then you can start introducing toothpaste to the mix. Um, they do sell dog toothpaste. We have one here in a little kit that you can buy. Um, it does come with a, a double-headed toothbrush here and also a thimble brush, which I really like to use because I feel like I have more control and more grip. Um, you do not want to use human toothpaste with these guys because it is toxic to them. So um, please get one you know, from a pet store or you can purchase it through us. Um, so then I'll show you how to put on the toothpaste and then where to go from there. So with the toothpaste, so here I have the chicken flavor. Um, so I'm going to use that same washcloth gauze technique, but I'm going to add toothpaste onto it so they can start getting used to the taste. I may not um, try and rub and brush as hard this time just so they can get used to the taste and you want them to think of this as a positive experience. Um, so same thing, you know, with the gauze, I'll wrap around my finger here and then I'll just squirt a little bit onto here. And then I'll probably just work from the front and then work back. Just so he can, he can kind of get used to the taste and, and realize that, oh, this is not so bad. Okay. Um, you can keep adding more to that's fine um, as long as they get used to the taste and they're going to really start to like it. And that also is a gradual process that may take a little bit. Um, Hi, bud. I know. So same thing, you just rub back and forth, and then here, maybe we'll show on this side so you guys can see better. So unfortunately, Virgil has some <laughs> bigger jowls, but you can see his molars back here. And so you just want a 45 degree angle, just rub along those, and with that toothpaste. Like, yes, I one. know, good boy. After, after you've gotten that process down, they're used to the toothpaste. Um, and then you can start doing either the double-sided toothbrush or the thimble. For this video, I'm going to show the thimble um, so you can see. So it's, you'll literally just put it right, right along your index finger. It does have harder bristles on there to brush. Um, 
And then same thing. You just put your toothpaste on. Here, bud. Look. You want a treat? Oh. Treat, treat. Oh, look in your body. What do you think? Oh, oh yes. You can have that. <laughs> what do you think? Yes. Okay. So then also, you know, same thing that we've been doing. Okay. Just right along. Right along those molars in the back. Just brush right along there. Try and get that plaque off. You don't necessarily have to really scrub on the gums um, just because you don't want to irritate the gums. So just right on the top of that tooth. Come here, bud. Come on. There you go. See right there. So I'll, I know we got to show everybody, huh? So I'll show you here on his canine tooth, just right along, 45 degree angle. Rub back and forth. Same with the incisors, you can do that. The bottoms. You don't have to worry about cleaning the inside of the teeth. Um, mostly just focus on the outside going in. So that is our video on teeth brushing 101 for your dog. Um, you know, if your dog, say they do give you a really hard time with the teeth brushing, they don't like you around their mouth, they're trying to fight you or bite, anything like that, just stop. Um, we do offer products that, they it's like a rawhide bone that they can chew and it does have enzymatic toothpaste on that. So once they chew on that rawhide, the enzymes break up the tartar on the teeth, which is another good option. Um, and then another good option too is a product called Hills TD, which is a prescription diet, but we use it as treats for dental care. Um, so once they chew and crunch on those treats, um, you know, the crunching breaks up the plaque that way. So if they're good, you know, with treats or chewing, that might be a better option. Um, but this is a great one too. And as far as teeth brushing, um, Veterinary dentists recommend it at least once a day. Try to do as best you can. Um, even three times a week would be great just to do something to break up that plaque. It's gonna help save the teeth in the long run and it's gonna <laughs> hopefully save you guys money. So with that, Virgil, I think we're done. Yes? Say bye. Say bye. bye.